Okay. Uh, my name is Dave Trevignan. I'm an attorney at the Card Abramson in Chicago, and I'm uh, very honored to be the 2013-2014 ABA YLD Assembly Clerk. And so uh, what we're going to talk about today is Assembly Delegate Certification, what affiliates need to know, and we're going to focus today on the uh, Delegate Certification for the Mid-Year Meeting Assembly. So just as a reminder, um, assembly takes place on Saturday, February 8th of 2014 in conjunction with the ABA Midterm Movement in Chicago. So I'm happy to uh, have all of you uh, into my hometown uh, for, mid for the Midyear meeting. Um, just remember, there's no registration fee to participate in assembly uh, to attend the free CLE seminars provided by the ABA YLB or to attend certain of the networking events that are also provided by the ABA YLD for the mid Um The certain of the networking and social events do are hard ticket events, so you do have to pay for them. The um, uh, early bird deadline is December 6th, so this Friday, so make sure that you um, or encourage your folks to, uh, to register early and to get um, some uh, good ticket prices on social events should they wish to participate, but it is absolutely free to attend the conference for those who are delegates and wish to participate. And you can find out more information about Young Lawyer events um, at the mid-year meeting on the ABA YLD webpage. So the, the important uh, deadline that's coming up is December 15th of 2013. Uh, state affiliates, Specialty young lawyer affiliates, so that's uh, national affiliates like the National Bar Association and military branches, must fill out the online delegate certification form for each of their delegates, including their alternates. So that date again is December 15th, it's coming up right around the corner. You can go to www.anbar.org slash assembly for more information on assembly. So we're going to talk about three specific things today. We're going to talk about who can be a delegate, um, how many delegates represent the state affiliates, and what is the process for delegate certification. And at the end, we'll, we'll take questions from everyone in the audience. So who can be a delegate for the YLD Assembly? Well, let's talk about who comprises the Assembly. Well, there are basically four different categories of folks who uh, comprise the Assembly. Number one, uh, the ABA YLD Council, and we'll go into who comprises the council later on in this call. Uh, the second category um, is delegates representing the affiliates in each state, each of whom keeps of his or her principal office or principal resident in that state. The third category is there are two delegates representing each national affiliate, and those delegates are obviously members of that affiliate. And then the fourth category, there's a delegate one delegate appointed by and representing the chief legal officer of each of the United States Armed Forces. So there's specific qualifications uh, to be a delegate and to be considered to be a delegate. First of all, you have to be a member of the ABA. Secondly, you have to, um, if you're uh, representing an affiliate, you have to be a member of that affiliate. And then finally, you have to have your principal office in the state in which you are a delegate if you're participating on behalf of the state bar organization. So let's talk about how many delegates represent the state's affiliate. Well, the affiliates in each state are entitled to a certain number of delegates based upon the number of ABA YLD members in the state. So uh, it's sort of like the House of Delegates where your representation depends on how many citizens are in a specific state. Well, the same way with assembly, except that the representation is based on the number of ABA YLD members in the state. And you can see the number of delegates for each state um, at, on the assembly webpage. And I don't know if that, everyone can see uh, the webinar and the slides that I have up, but if you go to uh, anbar.org slash YLD assembly, there's a uh, space where, it, uh, where you can look at the delegate count information, and you can see um, the number of delegates for each state. So I have it up on my screen. I don't know if others, others can see it, um, but the council has 63 delegates. Each national affiliate has two delegates, 
and then uh, the uh, each state and U.S. territory has different different amounts of delegates depending on the number of ADA wild in that state. So, for example, Alaska has 194 ADA wild members in that state, and so they're entitled to two delegates. Alabama has um, 1,231 uh, ADA wild members in that state, and so they're entitled to four. And so you can see, as you go down the list, the numbers range between two um, See, California has 23 delegates. Um, New York is one, uh, also a, a big one. That's 22 delegates. And then going down the list of, at the very bottom, um, each of the arm, U.S. Armed Forces have one delegate. And just as a reminder, uh, the number of delegates for each state is updated prior to each meeting of the assembly. So. Um, you, if, if you're, uh, you know, chair of, you know, uh, a, uh, an affiliate in, in one year, you might have, be entitled to a different number of delegates, um, for next year or, or the year before that. It just depends on the fluctuation of the number of ADA wild members in the state. Now, how do, how do you allocate all the delegates, um, in a state? So, you know, New York, I, I think I still had, had 22 delegates, something along those lines. Basically, the the, the wildy, maybe a wildy doesn't tell affiliates how to del how to allocate those delegates. Um, basically, affiliates in in each state allocate the delegates among themselves. Typically, it's the chair of or someone that they delegate um, of the state young lawyer our organization that will actually transmit the names of the delegates to the ADA wildy via the online delegate certification form. So who should be, um, we're going to talk about who should um, the state affiliates actually be certifying via the online form. Um, we'll talk first about who should not be included in your delegate count on your form. Um, you should not include any voting members of the YLD Council. So that's, um, those are people like uh, YLD officers, directors, the nominating committee representatives, uh, delegates to the ADA, House of Delegates, uh, the YLD members at large on the ADA Board of Governors, all ADA YLD district representatives, the ADA YLD national affiliate representatives, the ADA law student division chair. So those are just some examples of folks who um, should not be um, be certified by a state because they're already they're automatically delegates to the assembly because they're on they're voting members of council. So here's an example of of how that would work. So as you can probably saw on the list, um, the delegate count list, Montana's affiliates are entitled to a total of two delegates. However, there is a, a ADA Wild E representative, ADA Wild E director, who all <laughs> yeah, uh, Oh, you're fine, but seriously, I'm, you're not doing this. Everyone, please mute um, their <laughs> so uh, that district representative and the uh, ADA Wild director are they're automatically delegates to assembly because they are ADA Wild council members who vote um, in council. So there are actually going to be four, a total of four delegates who sit in the Montana delegation, but uh, this, the Montana State Bar will only submit the names of two delegates um, via the online delegate certification form. Um, and they will will not include the names of those uh, of the BR and of the director. So I hope I hope that's clear. So essentially, you get if, if you have people who are on council in the state, um, those are additional. Those are people who are in addition to the delegates that you're already entitled to. And if you're not sure who is on council, you can check out the leadership list. And there's if you go to the uh, the YLD homepage, um, and you go to About Us, there's a leadership tab, and it, it'll show you all of the folks who are on council, all of the officers, um, all of the constitutional representatives, the directors, and it also shows you um, where those folks are from. Um, so, you know, looking at the district representatives, um, you can see 
um, even though you know just uh, you know one person might uh, represent two different states. If you know, for example, as I said, the Montana DR uh, in that district is actually you know lives in, in Montana, so that would be a person in addition uh, to the delegates that that state is already entitled to. So what is the process for delegate certification? It's actually very easy. There's really just three steps um, that folks need to take. First of all, uh, by December 15th, 2013, affiliates must submit their delegate certification form. And for those of you um, who can see uh, the webinar part of it, I'm going to click on the form. But again, if you go to uh, the ADA Wild D, um assembly homepage, so again, that's ambar.org slash wild assembly, and um, let's see, where is the... There's a, there's a spot to click that says State Affiliate Dele Delegate Certification Form. You click on that, and then it gives you basically all the instructions, which is essentially what we went through today. And there's a spot where it says the online certification form that's highlighted in blue. You click on that, and it goes to a survey. And so what uh, affiliates need to do is they need to fill out one of these forms for each of their delegates and their alternates if they have some. So the first part of the form, you'll click whether your um, your delegate is a part of the state bar, national bar, or military bar. And again, it shows you uh, next to um, each of those categories how many delegates you're entitled to. So again, Alabama is entitled to four delegates, Alaska is entitled to two delegates, so on and so forth. The next question basically asks you if, if, any, if your delegate has uh, any special accommodations um, uh, for uh, disabilities and, and the like. If, you have, if your delegates have that, please let us know and we will make accommodations um, for you during assembly. And then the next question basically just reminds you that if, if it's if you're um, if you're a delegate for a state affiliate, um, that you need to keep your principal office or principal residence in that state. It'll ask you whether um, uh, the delegate is an alternate, and then you'll need to fill out the delegate information. Um, particularly, uh, pay attention to uh, the bottom portion. We ask you for your ADA membership number. Uh, we need to have the ADA membership number of each of your delegates um, and alternates just so we can make sure that those folks are actually ADA members. That's one of the requirements. And then uh, asking the next question asks you whether um, the individual qualifies under the ADA YLD bylaws or the affiliate bylaws. That question basically um, is, is asking you, you know, whether, you know, sometimes uh, delegates are certified even though they may, the the age may be different, um, the age for uh, being a young lawyer and their affiliate may be different from um, uh, the ADA YLD uh, age, and so that would be the difference between those those two. And then the last question I ask you, which is from another delegate, um, so hopefully you do if you're on the first one, um, unless you're in the military branch because you only get one, but. Um, then that will take you to a similar screen where you will uh, fill out uh, information to your next delegate. So it's actually a very, um, very quick process to uh, certify um, each of your delegates. Um, it is we, we do have need um, need particular information so we can identify the people, um, but it's actually a very easy process. So the next uh, the next part uh, next. Part of the process is that all delegates must register for the mid-year meeting. And again, as I said, uh, the mid-year meeting is free of charge um, to go to assembly and to attend some of the uh, YLD events. Um, and then after you register and come to the meeting, um, then all of, your, all of the delegates must, um, first of all, you'll get a, a badge from the ADA um, uh, registration. Uh, that basically has your name, your, your law firm, if you work at a law firm or your government agency, wherever you, you work. Um, and then you, then you will go to uh, the YLD table, and the credentials board will be there, and they will give you uh, – each delegate will receive a delegate list. Typically, it's a red ribbon that says delegate on it. 
Um, you'll need to bring that delegate ribbon with you to assembly. Um, so, so people know that you are a proper delegate. So on the next slide, and I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll pass out the slides um, to, to everyone who's on the call as well as um, to affiliates. Um, but essentially, I have some resources here for a delegate uh, certification. Um, you, you should know for the AB Wild the Assembly, uh, the Assembly webpage, obviously, and there's all of the information that I'm talking about on this call today is on that webpage. It includes a uh, assembly preview video that we put together to entice people to, to want to go. Um, there's a de the delegate uh, account information, so if you're interested to know, you know, which state has how many delegates. And then again, the delegate certification form, which is the first part in the process for folks um, to certify your delegates. And then finally, uh, the the second part of the resources here are uh, resources for the ABA major meeting itself. Um, there's a link to uh, the list of the Young Lawyer events at the mid-year meeting. And for those of you who can't see the slide, it's www.americanbar.org slash calendar slash midyear.html. And then finally, the registration um, page for the mid-year meeting. Um, and again, uh, all of this will be um, on the slides that, that we pass out. So... And again, the um, the early bird deadline is December 6th, so um, please be sure to, um, if you're interested in going to uh, our dinner dance, for example, um, and you want to get a, a cheaper price than, than what it will be after December 6th, please make sure to register early. And uh, that's basically all the material that I have for you. It's, again, a, a very easy process for folks to certify their delegates. Um, I wanted to open up the floor uh, to questions for anyone who's on the phone or, or participating via, via webinar. Um, so if anyone has questions, uh, now, now is the time. We'll open up the floor. Okay, hearing none. Uh, Kara, if you're on, did, uh, did you want to make any sort of closing remarks or, or anything like that? Uh, correct anything I, I might have uh, misspoken on? Uh, no, nothing needs correcting. Um, you pretty much covered everything. Just to make sure everyone uh, knows that stress that December 15th is the deadline um, to submit the, the name, the delegate name. Excellent. And Anna, did you have anything on the affiliate side as, as affiliate director? No, I think you, you did great job, Dave. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for being on the call and attending the webinar. Um, if you have any questions um, as, as you go along in the process, please feel free to call me. Um, my number is 312-239-9722. Um, email is young at pecklaw.com. That's P-E-C-K-L-A-W.com. And I just want to thank everyone uh, for being on the call today. And I will really look forward to uh, seeing all of you in Chicago in February for the mid-year meeting. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.